Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to get into rebuilding this thing here. It is a hammerhead twister. Stay tuned. So yesterday I went out and picked up this here little buggy, the Hammerhead Twister. It is a 150cc cart. And just kind of want to go over the state in which I purchased it. You can see they started sanding on it, getting ready for paint. Uh, I clearly have to do quite a bit of work, but I'm going to start out with getting this thing painted. As you can see, got to reset the tires. They've been sitting and popped off the bead. Hopefully that's all we have there, so I don't have to put new ones on. Same with these. Just get them back on there, pop them back on. So this is the current state. You can see there is no motor. Uh, even the gear for the axle has been disconnected. But I do have a lot of parts uh, that came with it. Hopefully I can get that stuff put back together. And then it did come with a motor. And I chose to go ahead and buy a new motor for this. Uh, because I got such an awesome deal on offer up from a guy out in Florence, Arizona. Shout out to you. Appreciate it, buddy. Um, here's the current state of the engine that was provided. Now, I do not have a cylinder or head or carburetor. A lot of stuff missing. And instead of digging into that and I priced the parts out, uh, I just think it would, be, uh, it would behoove me to go ahead and just clean this up and sell it and let somebody else go ahead and do the big bore kit or rebuild it. So I'm gonna try and, and flip that for some money. Uh, I've got a box of parts there, seat belts and such. And then you can see the exhaust and chain and all that type of stuff. So for today, I want to start disassembling this so I can clean it up and get some paint going. Stay tuned. So I was able to take out the bolts I went ahead and just set them in a free hole so I know which ones went where uh, this side here was a 12 millimeter and this side here around there is a 10 millimeter and uh, you have to coerce them out and then I went ahead and sprayed all the spots where this touches with WD-40 because uh, it's kind of on there right now so I'm gonna have to I'm sure persuade that out so that I can take off the top of this cage. But that's where we're at right now. All right, let's try and uh, get this cage loose. Try my mallet. It's a little uh, worse for wear, but let's give it a shot. All right, everybody. So yesterday, I unsuccessfully removed this cage. It does not want to come off, and instead of me pounding dents in it and making a mess out of it, I decided, okay, well, I will find another way to get everything else stripped off and get this thing ready for paint. So yesterday I got busy and uh, didn't get too much farther than what you saw. So today's a new day. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off the lights and pulling everything off so I can get this thing ready for paint. Eventually I'm going to build some little stands to put the frame on so I can lift it off the ground, pull all the tires, remove the rear end. We got a whole bunch of fun coming. I knew this thing had been sitting outside when I purchased it, but uh, the Arizona heat is a killer on anything plastic. And most of the plastic, I mean, you can see right here, they're just, you barely touch them, they'll fall apart. They're just, that's brittle. I mean, so it looks like I'm gonna replace that entire, wow. Look at this, I just touched it. So it looks like I'm going to be replacing that entire harness. I might as well upgrade the CDI and uh, all these little bits here. We'll just go ahead and put new on. Here's a coil. I mean, that's just 
and that's soft, supposedly soft rubber. It's just falling apart. So looks like I'm going to have to pull the entire harness and put a new harness in it. So, uh, yeah, this is fun. I lubed up these, uh, the bolts for each one of these or the nuts, should I say, and I'll go ahead and get those rear lights off there and then I'll start pulling the wire harness. So I removed the, all the wire harness from the dash. This wire harness is uh, just completely shot. It's, uh, everything pretty much falls apart to dust when you touch it. Arizona heat, gotta love it. So just so you know, there's two harnesses. This is the front uh, accessory harness. And then in the back, there is the main harness. And the main harness is what connects all of these goodies, your CDI and all that stuff that actually run it. There's your coil, uh, all those things. That's the main harness. So I'm going to go ahead and probably purchase new of both, but I'm going to get to the removal of the rest of the wiring harness and we'll see what we got. As I was saying, there is, this is your main wire harness. And you can see this has a, uh, has your coil on it. <laughs> That's how old it is. Yeah, that fell completely off. I don't think we're getting any spark out of that. But uh, it's got your coil. Connects right here. And this goes down to the spark plug harness. Yeah, I think that's seen better days. Uh, here's our little stator. CDI box. And then the spots where the other pieces go, you can tell it's been sitting outside. But here's your main harness here. And then here is your accessory harness, which plugs in. And unfortunately, once again, everything just crumbles on this harness. So that connects to your main harness right here. And then here is everything that goes up under your dash. The rest go up for turn signals, horn, and headlights. So just wanted to share that with you before I get too far in. Yeah, look at, watch, this stuff just is, falls right apart. You can't even take it apart without it just turning to dust. Gotta love Arizona. So that's gonna do it for episode one of this build. Uh, hope you guys like the content so far. I'm going to, uh, I found some jack stands. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing outside and on some jack stands. And I'll go ahead and start the next video. Hopefully have it uploaded uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday or Sunday. But uh, I'm gonna keep this series going until we get this thing complete. See you next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.